Hey, what is going on, guys, and welcome back for part 30 of our Let's Play of Horizon Forbidden West. We are going to go ahead and get started here in a second. Let me just check some things. Do, 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 do. And that should, that load should take us straight to where we were. I see you, champion. Sit, please. You shouldn't miss this chance to trade. All right. Uh, this lady has another rumor for us again. No shot, it's the same rumor, right? I spotted a group of Osram salvagers wandering the edge of the desert, near the southwestern border. I'd report it, but I don't think they'll last long. If the machines down there don't get them, the storms will. Oh, that's kind of you. Don't Sounds let like the pretty land use a hand. I'll it's keep an eye out for them if I'm down there. Okay, so I think that actually just... That's an unknown salvage contractor. Yeah, no. Go to the Osram. Go to the Osram salvage camp. Yeah, okay, so there's one. Yeah, but we already have an idea of where a few of them are thanks to the map. So we don't need that. So our main quest is 32. We may go ahead and knock out some of the... Uh, uh, I actually kind of want to mess around with the Wings of the Ten stuff. Let's go to the peaks above the base. Do we see them already? No. So this is just, this is going to take us straight up this thing, which we supposedly can climb. So we're going to go ahead and try the climbing part. Hey, Ultima Knight, how's it going? Hope your day is going well. Good. There are siblings up here. I'll have to approach them quietly. Gotta be careful here. Alright, moment of truth. <laughs> no shot. Got it. Bruh. take a shot of this real quick guys this is insane hold up no shot this is actually really cool oh my god arrowhand i can see the whole village from up here maybe i should check in on it after i've dealt with regala tilda i'm in the air then you'll want to pick up an energy cell on one of the ancient horse titans but first, you must send out a pulse to activate them. I've sent you the necessary software. To deploy it, you'll have to override one of the communication machines you refer to as Tolnex. There's one in the middle of the desert that should do nicely. Hey, bro. See, I told you. There's that Tolnex. Let's go, buddy. 
Alright, I gotta figure out the uh, flying controls though. There's a tall neck. Need to get on top of its head. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Okay, this is a little weird. It's like not responding. Okay, I think I'm getting a hang now of the flying control. Land this thing. <laughs> we'll find out. This is actually like, uh oh. Okay, no. Stream is still going strong. Made it. Just got over it. Okay, Tilda, I've overridden the tall neck. Good. And the energy cells are now primed. Guys, that is the trophy for all tall necks overridden. Simply pick one up on a Horus. The nearest one should be northwest of your position. Dropping it on Regala's machine should produce quite a spectacle. Thanks for the assist. I told you, I want to help. All right, buddy, pick me up. Whoa, <laughs> I'm gonna have to get used to that. Yep, that's gonna be interesting. Guys, this is nuts. Yeah, see, so I'm really glad that I just went ahead and got this out of the way, mainly because it's gonna make like Traveling for side quest stuff way easier. I'm gonna be able to unlock a lot more of the map faster. Regala's rebels. Reinforcements, maybe. Heading for the grove. I hope a cover one that's knocked can hold out a little longer. They can see me. Nope. Please don't shoot. Please do not shoot. I do not like. Good There's lord, bro. Cell. Right on the Titan's back. Alright. Got the cell. Now on to the grove. Alright. Let's go. The should have reactivated all the energy cells in the region. I should be able to pick up more from any Horus I fly to. It'll be useful. Even after I deal with Regala. Yeah, bro. I know for... Probably for some of the bigger machines, I'm 100% going to try dropping these on one of the boss machines. Just, to, you know, for science at some point. 100%. Guys, this is literally nuts. We can ride them. It's finally here. We are no longer landbound, guys. We are airborne Aloy. All right, here we go. Screw, screw. Y'all see that nose dive before the cutscene? Gala's inside. Ah. Hikara will soon ah. be dead. It's all over, Chaplin. I gotta drop it now. Here it goes.
Is that? It's Aloy. She flies on the wings of the ten. The yes, this is I, Aloy. Push through. Let's go. <laughs> the time of clapping is upon you. End of the line, Hakaro. Now on your knees, and I'll give you the death you didn't have the spine to give me. They're down! Hold that thought. The machines! All of them! They're down! What? How's that possible? Regala! Enough bloodshed! Let's settle this. You and me. Easy to say when you're atop a machine. Well, that was just to get your attention. I don't need any help to take you down. Fine. I accept your challenge. And once I'm done with you, I'll get to finish the slaughter. We'll see about that. The duel is set. Let none interfere. <laughs> Guys, I don't think I brought the right tools for this. Okay. Ooh, you might be right about that. The flesh is not strong. Okay. She's going to actually be a problem. This is not going to work either. Useless. Hey, what's up, Tyler? What you up to, bro? Hey, bro, you missed. I was flying, or maybe you were here already. You didn't see us fly? Bro, you can fly in this game, and I'm so happy about it. <laughs> also, as you can see, the crazy lady from the beginning of the game doesn't like us. Anyone else see that? She like flipped through the air. Okay, that didn't hit her. Okay. Can I not? Okay. I actually have to beat her here to a certain point. Because there's something weird going on with I'll finish you and then oh. Okay, that actually hurt a lot. I'll need this. Okay, I need to upgrade that sharp shot bow. I think I made a mistake getting rid of that other one. Yeah, because I don't have the overdraw. Oh, mother of... <clears throat> All right. I will uh, paint this hollow uh, soil with your blood. Uh, 
All right, that should help us a little bit. Let's see if we can't tie her down. For you. You bring nothing but shame to your tribe. There's no way she hit that. God, that is not... That's pretty tough right there. Don't like that. This is where it ends. Yeah, it is. I will rise above... I am actually going to go with double notch. There's no shot. Is this how you give up your life? Oh, uh, something like that. Much better. Wasn't expecting that. I think we'll switch off of that bow. It's a lightning hunter bow. This is what we normally use. I need this right now. That could have been bad for me. My story will be called into your book. Will it though? I'm honestly probably just gonna blast bomb me to death. See if she sprints towards me. Winded. I need. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, wasn't expecting that. That's a good play. Eat the food. This is all you are. Yes, actually, very good with the bow. That's what makes Aloy different from everyone else, lady. Hello? <laughs> Did she not get it by now? This is why you lose and I win. On my knees before bootlets and cowards. The explosive Go build ahead. is actually OP, because that fight's supposed to be way, way more difficult than it is. Shut your mouth, traitor. It was you who flew in on the wings of the ten. You who challenged her by our rights, you must decide her fate. I spared her once. It only made things worse. She was the best of my marshals. What a waste. She still has use. <laughs> She's dangerous, all right. But maybe that's exactly what I need. Cowards! What more do you have to conspire about? 
Whether you live or die. Uh, but I don't like her. I feel like if I kill her, I could use her in that. Like, she's pretty, like, she fights machines in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Uh... You led a rebellion that tore a tribe apart. All for bloodlust and revenge. Maybe the only thing you deserve is to die right here. Or maybe that fury can be directed at the real enemy. You want to ally with her? How can you even trust her? Despite all that she's done, she's never been one to break her word. And will she give it? I won't beg for my life. Decide. Oh, okay, it doesn't let you go on from a tree from there. You still have to choose for one of crimes. those. But there's another battle ahead. Against an enemy more powerful than anything you can imagine. And I need people. A squad. That's willing to do whatever it takes. I don't want your mercy. It's not mercy. The battle I'm talking about? We'll be charging into a nightmare. A better death than this? Yes. <laughs> no, bro, this lady is just like... Just like, My what? My blood is yours. Your enemies are mine. Meet us at our stronghold, in the mountains near Plainsong. You mean to send her alone? Without even an armed guard? She does not need it. I will be there. You have my word. I'll hold you to it. <laughs> I'll do that, Jill. Chief, there's something you both need to see. In the throne room. You see that, Tyler? I was finally, uh, I finally, uh, completed what I needed to so that I could start making, like, giving people VIP stuff. So look, you got a nice new VIP badge. He Yay. surrendered to our guards outside the grove. Claims he has an urgent message for the outlander who defeated Regala. So, state it. It's for her alone. from an interested party. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm gonna need some privacy. Clear the room. Put him with the rest of Regala's soldiers. I'll see you back at base. You saved the tribe. Let me help you with your mission. No. With Regala gone, you have a chance to build the future you dreamed of. Mm -hmm. So get to your task. Then at least allow me to give you this. <clears throat> Armor for the battle ahead. Ooh. And keep you safe. Interesting. Thank you. I wonder how good this armor is. Watch it be like legendary armor already. That'd be wild. Do you have any idea what you've just done? Oh, it's a pleasure to see you too, Silence. Congratulations <laughs> on your victory. Thank you. you saved the Tanakh for a few weeks. Unfortunately, yep. you do the entire planet as well. Wrong. I don't need a Tanakh army to defeat the Xenos. Oh, Eloy. Have you learned nothing about the enemy we're up against? More than you, hiding whatever hole you found. My idea is just better than anything you ever came up with. Go on. No, not here. We're doing this my way. Face to face, 
and with the weapon you've developed. And why would I agree to that? Because I'm your only way of beating the Zeniths and getting the copy of Apollo that's on their ship. Ah, <coughs> uh, yep. So meet me at my base, mountains west of Plainsong. Time to submit to the inevitable silence and follow the person who actually knows what she's doing. Don't be late. They destroy a surprising Tilda, amount of those things. I did it. Silence is on board. So head to my base. Impressive. I'll be there as soon as I can. Now that I can fly, I might Guys, see what else I can do before I head back. A lot of this sounds really final. <laughs> and we've still got a significant amount of stuff on the map. There are cauldrons that we haven't done. There are parts of the map that we haven't even located. Uh, but it's crazy because, like, we can just fly everywhere now. Um... Where do we want to go first? We know there's a metal flower here. No, I'm pretty sure that's been taken care of. That's also a weird gap. Uh, we completed that somehow without getting the... Really? And we didn't get the campfire down there? That's kind of strange. So yeah, there's just like, there's just a lot of open space on the map. And there's a lot of places we have and haven't been like this. For example, this is Osram Salvage Camp. I think this is the one it just told us about. We could literally spawn here and walk there. We don't even need to fly. Black Box is right there. Rebel Outpost is not part of the camps. Yeah, so there's just a lot. So let's let's look at this. So, So it's literally just return to the base for more skill points, which we'll probably do right away. Yeah. Let's let's go see what everyone has to say at the base first. You cannot fast travel at this time. Send it straight, Cavo. Aloy's here. Interesting. So, Aloy, you've added yet another deed to your name, and I'm guessing by the look in your eyes that you're not done yet. Not quite. Is there anything we can do? We owe you that much. After everything you've been through, you're one of the best people to support Hikaru's bid for peace. Not just between the clans, but with the Karja too. Then I will. You have my word. And until my last breath, I'll make sure the tribe remembers all that you've done for us. Please. Please. Full don't even bother. <laughs> That's toxic. Ateka, I figured I'd see you here. Of course. The Lowland clan fought for our own today. And like the day Hikaru conquered the grove, we stand victorious. I see the same look in his eyes as I did then. Hope restored. His vision for us and yours. He'll need your continued support, I'm sure. And he will always have it. Thank you for everything, Aloy. Word from the north is that the Outlander and Marshal Patalo brought on the bulwark with a single cannon. Where did they even get such a weapon? I heard they took down a tremor tusk that Regala's rebels had captured. The blood of the ten, a tremor tusk. Aloy! Yeah. The flame of the desert. Ah, uh, yes, I see Aloy's legend spreads. Well, wonders never cease. I thought you wanted to stay neutral. In the end, I decided that if you thought Hakara was worth fighting for, then that was good enough for me. Mm -hmm. I'm honored. The honor is mine. Thank you, Yara. I appreciate it. And so the wings of the Ten found us when things were at their direst. I'm not some legend come to life, Chitaka. That may be, but we will always be in your debt. Leaving without 
saying hello to a yeah. comrade? And they're all friendly, right? Come on. So, the car is in the Aloy! That was amazing! Marshal Avira. What did I tell you, Aloy? You get into the craziest of fights. <laughs> and I saw it with my own eyes. That's Best seriously. Ever. Bruh. I'm just glad I got here in time. So what's next for you then? The scabs on the glowing island? Soon, yeah. Then their days are numbered. Good luck. Mm. True. So we have slang for the zeniths now. So, Your part in today's oh, battle will be recounted for years to come by me and old chaplain. My part? <laughs> I was the battle lady. What are you talking about? <laughs> so, I've been thinking. It seems like I missed this at some point. Hello and welcome to the halls of the Mojave Battlefield Memorial Museum. Regala was driven off by an outlander. Her rule will not last. May Regala's campaign come to a swift end. Is there anyone else that we can talk Greetings, to? Greetings, warrior. Okay. Now we should be able to just straight fast travel back, and we're going to figure out what's going on at the base. Uh, a lot of this seems like really final, so maybe we are a lot closer to the end of this game than we thought. I hope so, because we are level 50, so. All that side questing gets you massive amounts of XP, like... You level pretty quickly if you're doing, like, if you're clearing areas or at least trying to as you do them. Hey, uh, Mr. Know-It-All is here. You know, your focus buddy who never smiles. I didn't know what to do with him, so I had him wait in your room. Got it. Thanks. Well, Silence, looks like you finally found a door you could open without me. I'm glad it's there, actually. It kept me from having to mingle with the company you keep. But enough prattle. I believe you owe me an explanation, your plans for the Zenith base. You're right. I do owe you. My spear in your throat for deceiving me again, at the Hades Proofing Lab. I doubt you asked me here for that kind of reckoning. No. Right now, I need your help. So I'm giving you one final chance. But if you ever betray me again, I will kill you no matter what the circumstance. Understood? Very well. Though we'll both face a decidedly short future if you can't get us inside that base. Aloy, your other guest is here. She's, um... Coming to you. Thanks. Good timing. The truth is, I can't actually get us into the base. But, she can. Oh man, hey Ken, how's it going, brother? What's up, what's up? Not a fan of surprises, are you? I think we're getting close to the game. You, uh, you oh, may look. have missed it, dude. We were flying a little, a little while ago. Does the weapon work? Without self-destructing? Of course it does. I've eliminated the imperfections and greatly improved its design and output. How can we be sure? Care for a demonstration. <laughs> Enough, both of oh, you. Oh, God. We're in this together, at least for now. This is about what I expected. Go talk to Aaron. Tell him I said to give you rooms of your own. I'll come see you when I get a chance. These are the only two members of the Horizon Mine Own Shit Don Does Not Stink Club. Because, like, watch this, watch this. <laughs> oh, no. You first. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Bro, they don't even know each other. Like, you know, like, really, like, they don't even Everyone really know each other and, and, like, just immediately hate each other. Uh, yeah, I have plenty of that in the stash. I don't mind topping that off. What is this? Focus. It's Forles. I used to think no Nora would ever accept one. Oh, wow. Forles did. Even when he was overwhelmed. 
Hey, what's up, JC? What's up? What's up? I'm chilling over on you too, JC. I've been watching you every, you know, off and on and shit, man. <laughs> I saw you go Apex and Fortnite back to Apex. Hey, Aaron. Yeah. I was thinking we could spar for a bit when you have the time. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, of course. There might be a way to deal with my. See, that's like little things like that. I mean, makes you feel better. I'm all for it. So there's a lot of games where like that doesn't feel natural. Like it'll feel like a prompt. We just walked out here, and these two were like, they were working, hey, kind of conversing, and she's just it like, "Hey, we have some interesting you know, could we guests. spar later?" It's like little organic things like that okay, are though. huge, and you know, it changes you the story the goes. So that to helps about. too. I was half expecting you to burst in through the ceiling, riding a sunwing. Sorry to disappoint. Hey Ken, uh, I gotta sh I gotta show y'all this. Have you Hold talked up. to any of our new We gotta we friends. gotta go through this, and I gotta show y'all what I just I picked tried up. Speaking to silence, we got the new whip in her eyes. <laughs> tribal prattle so is weird. unnecessary. Charming, isn't he? Ready to head over to the zenith base. Whatever comes, we will endure. Guys, so it actually sounds like story wise. I think I might. Thoughts be near the end of the story because like this is like I'd finalizing stuff like death, supposedly but even death smells of something she's more like a cold piece of metal bent on repelling all semblance of life she's definitely different i have to go interesting i trust you to keep things civil around here i'll make sure aaron doesn't punch silence in the face if that's what you mean thanks Okay, I want to show you guys something uh, while you guys are still here. So let me find a door. So, I don't know if you, you guys have seen far into Forbidden West or whatever beyond what you've seen here. But if you haven't, well, there's something fun that you get. You can have a flying mount. <laughs> hey, it's Alba. Before I left landfall, I overheard a couple of navigators talking about a problem with one of our ships. I don't know what's wrong, but it could be an issue when it's time for us to sail home. Mm -hmm. I'll keep an eye out for it's, the next time I'm in it's moments like these where it's just like, dude, they really put a lot. And, and it's only, you know, it's really, it's five years removed from the release of the original game. And in that time, they had a PC release for Zero Dawn, which they were also, you know, having to work on and bug fix after. So like, and that's not even the craziest part. So I should be able to just, yup. So I can just do that. And I think I can actually get picked up out of the air. So yeah, this is actually like nuts. Like actually nuts. Like I think this alone would actually... <laughs> if I hadn't played the game up to now and I saw gameplay of someone flying, I'd probably get this game even if I didn't know what it was about. I think this is meant to be a landing pad or some sort. Okay, I think I understand how it works now. I think I understand how, like... Dude. Yeah, I think I have an actual feel for the flying mount now, too. How to... Uh, basically, how to quote-unquote park it, per se. <laughs> My part, my sunwing is parked on the uh, the cliff pad outside. <laughs> oh god, dude! All right, uh, let's finish up the story stuff in here. Let me make sure the community chest doesn't have anything. Oh, it does. It's got good loot. 
Probably because he could crush storm it. Bird storm bird storm cannon? That is Wait a minute. Do we have the storm bird? No shot. No shot the game just gave me that. There you are. Nope. Don't want to talk to you right now. <laughs> it's not your room either. I'm literally lost in my own building. What? Just you wait, Farl. It's not here either. Space lugs down. Okay. This is ridiculous. Let's so, did we get course. to finish talking to her? I okay, we did going. finish talking Don't to her. So now we have to talk to Aaron. Hello. Aloy. You came back with some interesting friends. I wish I could say we don't need them. But Silence and Tilda are here for a reason. Even Regala. Yeah. Enemy of my enemy and all that, right? Right. I guess Silence is keeping to himself, as usual. I was hoping he'd give me an excuse to hammer his sorry ass to the ground. Facts. Please don't. You telling me you wouldn't want to get just one good hit on that smug face of his? After everything he's done? Sure. Later. Right now, he's got something we need. Doesn't look like any of our guests are making trouble. Yet. So, uh, Catalo tells me you flew. Well, that's new. I've been busting my bulks trying to learn to read. You're, you're out there having all the fun. Don't worry. You'll be getting all the fun you can handle soon. With the Zeniths. Looking forward to it. You, uh, talked to Tilda at all? I tried. I don't think even a hot forge could melt that ice. And you say she wants to help? I think so. Well, let's hope. I wouldn't say help. Okay, she still gives going. me the willies. You know where to find and they've insinuated that she doesn't give off a scent, which is even creepier, because, like, you know, even dead things smell. Uh, I really should top off, for sure, for now. Because I will forget, and we'll just go straight into a fight, and then, you know, surprise, not fun anymore. <laughs> Uh, what spikers do we have? So this is with the drill spikes. This is impact. Pulverizer is for later. So we actually want to stick that back on there. You, you flew? Cotalo told oh, me. Oh, here we go. She's and gonna be giddy as hell. Machines? You know what? I don't even know why I'm surprised. I saw we have visitors and a new weapon. Does this mean we're ready to take the fight to the Zeniths? Almost. Are you okay? I was wondering, is it really safe having someone like Regala here? She seems angry. The kind of angry that leads to murdering people in their sleep. <laughs> Don't worry. We're going to point that anger in the right direction. The Zeniths. If you say I don't so. know if there is a right direction for that kind of anger. Like, the right direction is probably therapy. Like, what? I hope our new guests have been behaving. The silence... He's the one who built the weapon that can take down Zenith shields? He is. Though I wouldn't expect him to answer any questions about it. He refuses to dole out his secrets to us lesser mortals. Oh. You know that special part of us that makes us warm, kind, welcoming? Our... spirit? Yeah. He was born without that. Okay, that feels like really toxic and like you sure a personal okay attack. This mission? I know things must be happening pretty fast for you. Uh, I've already braved oceans and madmen who thought they were ancestors reborn. Why not a few immortals with lethal drones at their command too? Guess the Tater Trooper. <laughs> I 
suppose you saw that Tilda is here. Our very own Zenith. I almost went up to her to ask her, well, every question I've ever had about the legacy. Every diviner I know would kill to get five minutes with one of the old ones. But now that she's here, all I feel is a vague unease. I don't know if I'm scared of finding out more uncomfortable truths or just scared of her. Probably both. I kind of like how they did that in the game. No one can really put a finger on it, but like basically everyone you talk to has this just general unease that they get whenever like, you know, being near her or whatever. I need to wrap up a few things, but which is a really sharp. way cool really cool way I'll of basically putting call. into the story that everything about her is unnatural. Uh we shouldn't have that many more people to talk to. All right, so this is what I was originally Did you need looking something? for. Jesus, silence scared the dog water out of me, dude. Holy cow. Just the voice just, do you need out of nowhere? All right, yeah, so we still have a cauldron. I'm not going to pop the final mission off of out of nowhere. I really do want to start working on, uh, like this, for example. I didn't have that overdraw damage. That was brutal. Oh, my God. And a new slot. Okay. This could actually be a really good bow. Component terror. We need more green shine clusters. Dude, green shine hunting will probably be the one of the... That cave in the start area. Bro, the cave in the start area. I bet you that place has a ton of green shine. All right. Tanakh Marshall, Tanakh Reaver, Valor, and... Stamina, your resonator blast, melee damage. I'm gonna start working on melee damage and stuff armors just because I gotta find an armor that's gonna be good to finish the melee pits. Okay, so that's all of that. Some of your companions. Uh, gonna clean my gear later. I could do yours. Course. Thank you. Don't mention it. Yo, where where are they hiding the ones that I brought here? I gotta find where Regal is hiding. This is creepy. Interesting. This place smells wrong. No sand yeah. or wind, only cold steel. And the others up there, your squad. They can hold their own. As for this base, it may not be what you're used to, but it is a shelter. Call it what it is, a cage. You came here on your own. For the battle you promised. So for now I wait in my cage for your word. Tell me when to strike. The whole time I've been in the West, I've been fighting you and your rebels. I'd at least like to know why. You were among the enemy. What more is there to know? Why did you do it? Dorok, Jeroka, Makalo, and the Karja pushed into the desert to raid our people. My brother's squad was among the first to intercept them. But the Karja captured them, strung them up, and burned them alive as an example. Man, the Mad Sun King's reign of terror late, really did scar I this entire post-apocalyptic uh, so you want vengeance. North America. Vengeance. No. I wanted devastation. To tear down the Karja's cities and drown the land in blood. 
Hunt down every last survivor and grind their bones until the sky chokes on the dust. But my chief betrayed me. Betrayed the Tanakh. I don't know if that's a fair assessment. How did Hikaro betray you? Hikaro called on the clans to resist the Karja's red rays. But we did more than just defend. We hunted them. And they fled as children before a pack of claw striders all the way to their border. There we ripped down their stone walls. Their domain was ours for the taking. But when mm -hmm. it came time to push on, Hikaro ordered us to fall back. What soldier retreats when slaughter is at hand? The kind who wants peace for their people. Peace is just a lull between vendettas. But I thought my chief had greater tactics in mind, so I stood by him even when he allowed that filthy Karja to join our ranks. Bro, she's for got sure. some serious problems. I enjoyed watching him die at the embassy. He should have been put down when we first captured him on the field. Instead, he Hikaru made him a marshal. Fashav told me how he became a marshal. He earned it just like any Tanakh. It was an insult. No outlaw armor, bare marks. And then a Karja messenger was brought before us. That's when I knew. I had to run my blade <clears throat> through a collar and drag his treacherous corpse to the gates of the sun. What happened when the Karja messenger appeared before she Hikaru? She is a little bit... The quivering priest bore a message from their new king. No more war. No more raids. Oh, no, man. Suddenly, the Karja wanted to talk peace. An embassy at the very fortress we tore down. A true Danak would never take a Karja truce. Their blood exists to be spilled. But Hikaru lapped up the priest's message... He showed himself a Karja loving traitor when he accepted. That's when I challenged him. And lost. His mercy was just another sign of his weakness. I vowed never to rest until the debt was repaid. Huh. Him on his knees before me. So with an army of soldiers and machines at my back, I returned. Day you got in my way. Uh huh. The deal you made override tech in exchange for an assault <clears throat> on the Zenith base. <clears throat> How did Silence approach you? That name means nothing to me. My agreement was with Asaram mercenaries, the sons of Prometheus. So, all this time, you didn't even know who you were really dealing with? And you trusted a group of Outlanders? If it was a trick. I would have crushed them, but they offered me <laughs> a chance to run the car. That's what she thinks. Machines. Silence the is a slippery little snake. Eyes when they see you charge, you know what I'm talking about. I bet you felt it. I don't think so. What about your end of the deal? Would you have honored it? Had I killed a Karo and become chief? These Zeniths would have been the first of the tribe's victories, but because of you, my people will continue to consort with the enemy. Oh my god, guys. The tribe of weakness. <laughs> because of me, hundreds of Tanakh won't throw away their lives in a battle they can't win. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> These people have literally been in combat really since for like a thousand years. Me? What? I have no reason to betray you. Really? I failed to kill Hakaro, failed to eliminate you. No Tanakh would follow me now. The Karja remain out of my reach, cowering behind their walls. All I have left are the screams Man. of those long dead and unending rage. So show me where to bury it. All right. 
I guess we'll both face the end soon enough. Ever since you got in my way, I've wanted to see your bones burned white beneath the sun. But if I'm to die in battle, then it <coughs> might as well be with the one who flew <coughs> of the tin. I'll let you know when it's time to move out. Uh, I want to check something, guys. I want to make sure... I don't want to accidentally stumble into the final quest line because there's a lot of stuff that we should do before then that are part of uh, Companions side quests. Uh, and I, I am not 100% sure, but just in case it would affect anything, I want to make sure that's done. Uh, his name... <laughs> hmm. When you finally ready, head to the... Okay, so, yeah, guys. <laughs> this is... That's... <laughs> we could just do it. Uh, but the problem is... There's a lot of... I don't think it was Tide's Reach. I want to say they had an actual base somewhere. We're going to make a jump real quick. I want to make sure that there's not anything huge that we're missing, because if that's the final mission, then there's definitely some side questing that we 100% want to get done. What you did to that thunder jaw. All this. So first of all, we're definitely because all this is still a level 30 mission. So is Burden of Command. So. For that to be a 35, I'm going to want to get to, like, this one, fly to the mountaintop. We can actually do this now because we have a bird. Uh, melee pit marks, I'm not going to, that's something I can finish later, as well as, like, a lot, like, salvage stuff doesn't have to be done beforehand. I just want to make sure anything that involves story story is done before we do end of the game story. And yes, you can play after. I just want to make sure actual side right content is done, not just uh, arena and stuff like that. Right. Ancestor, please. It's about my brother. I don't mean to disturb you, but I've run my request through every channel and I've gotten nowhere. Just take me through it. Apologies. My name is Jomar. I'm the weapons officer for this expedition. It's my job to ensure the troops are armed and prepared for what's out there. And I've failed to do so. My younger brother, Oris, his unit was sent to scout the tower on the northern side of the island. They should have returned by now. The Overseer has denied my request for a search party. And defying him would mean dismissal. Or worse. You think they might be alive? Oris has been obsessed with San Francisco ever since I can remember. He jumped at the chance to join this expedition. I have to believe that fate isn't cruel enough to make this place his tomb. If you help me, I'll get you access to any weapon in my stock. If I make my way up north, I'll look for your brother. Thank you. If it helps, my brother carried an ancestral relic with him. I believe your focus might be able to pick it up. What kind of relic? A small metal piece dangling from a chain with a hologram of San Francisco, which is why my brother always had it with him. The diviners speculated it was some kind of beacon inviting the ancestors to visit the city. Speculated. So there was data on it they couldn't read. It was deemed lost knowledge. If my brother truly is... gone, could you maybe bring the relic back for me? It meant so much to Oris. I, I'd like to keep it safe. For him. Of course.
We'll figure something out. <laughs> How? There's no way we can find our way back home like this. Goods. I am here when you require me. I promise you, we'll find a way home. Harriam, we're never getting that gyro compass back. We're stuck here, for good. The ancestor reborn. May we be led to truth. Just, Aloy, what's this I hear about you never going back home? Our navigational ships. They're all gone. Destroyed by storms and reefs, and with them the one instrument we need to guide us across the ocean. There is one ship that might still hold a working gyro compass. But it's beyond our reach, beached on an island surrounded by deadly currents. No compass, no way home, no way back to those we should have never left behind in the first place. Christina. Hey, thanks for, thanks for reminding me, Ultima Knight. You mentioned you left someone behind? My uh, wife, Neandra. She works the field in the Great Delta. When I was chosen for this mission, she begged me not to come. She was scared I wouldn't return. And like always, she was right. I left without saying goodbye, and now I won't ever see her again. Bro, Ultima, why do you do this to yourself, bro? You have zero points again. You went you went so up to 33 all soldiers? that time watching, and look at you now. now look, look at what you did. Man. I'm Harriam, and this is Christia. So Let me you check two my points real quick. This instrument? The gyro compass. Only Do I, I even have any it. built up yet? Harriam was chosen to memorize the charts found in the legacy. It's taken me forever to So you build can't up navigate points. the fleet without each other? It is the Quen way. The greater Come the on, knowledge mine keep held growing, by one person alone, the greater the risk it'll be used against the Empire should we be captured by our enemies. Your tribe sure is... cautious. To say the least. So what is this gyro compass you're looking for? It's a device used by the ancestors to help pinpoint a ship's location, but it only works if I'm the readings sure are compared. Pretty sure this quest line has a, a legendary. How'd you get your hands on something like that? Piece of gear I at the end of it. I guess it's safe to tell you, since you carry the gift of the ancestors. The diviners found them on ancient vessels one. back in our homeland and modified them so we could use them on our ships. Without them, we're at the mercy of the seas. You said what you need is on a ship somewhere. <clears throat> yes. The ship we were stationed on. The night we approached landfall, a sudden squall hit the fleet. While some ships managed to find safe harbor here, ours ran aground. The crew abandoned ship, hoping the ocean would spare us. I thought we'd drown for sure. Thank the ancestors, we somehow got washed up on a beach southwest of here. Scouts found us and brought us to landfall. Not that it matters. The only ship with the gyro compass is grounded and surrounded by deadly currents. Well, are you in luck? Maybe I can help. <laughs> Not unless you can fly. What if I told you I can use one of those sun wings to take me there? You can do that? Why not? She's an ancestor reborn. Anything is possible. Here we go. The ship lies on an island east of here, past the fleet. All right, then that's where I'll go. I will not let myself hope just yet, but I thank you for your kindness. Oh, don't worry, you are very welcome. Maybe our luck has finally changed. Maybe. 
All right, so guys, this this whole thing is just gonna be a quick lickety split, right? Mount cannot enter this location. Okay, so the only thing about men's mounts is actual physical locations they generally can't enter. This problem is generally pretty easily solved, though. So, you know, we're gonna. Uh... <gasps> oh no! Wait, go back. I actually, uh, first off, I want to check your stitcher. All right, chat, we're going to check, uh, the gear and stuff here, and we're going to make sure that we are fully restocked. And I got to check and make sure we're using the right weapons. Yes, there let us use landfall, purge water acid, and then fire with my normal stuff. And now we have overdraw on this. So, like, for this, pretty sure I'm just going to top this off. I don't know why I wouldn't. All right. That's going to be huge. Being able to drop plasma on machines and then, you know, build it up or whatnot is actually going to be huge. So, I think this is just gear that I don't care about. Mounted archer... Tanakh Dragoon would be cool. A cool armor, but I'm... It's just... Yeah, I'm just not going to use it. Uh, low health melee. So, more melee. Oh, God. That actually... The Karja Trader? Trap limit. You can salvage more from traps. Bro, what? That's broken. Uh, there is a legendary trap armor. I want to see what that has before I invest in a purple armor unnecessarily. No, no, I trust in the words that guide us. I only wish us to succeed in our mission here. Okay, you, you know, no one's questioning your commitment, lady. You know. Do they not have a hunter here? Bro, what? No shot, dude. I should focus on the task at hand. So once all said and done, you think we might return here? Bro, what? If you could find my brother. I'd be grateful beyond measure. Okay. We're gonna deal with that dude's brother. I've heard this can be OP as well. But, like, we need a Slitherfang thing to upgrade it. Dude, that's so buns. Whatever. Some of this stuff, dude, is a little bit frustrating. Alright. Let's go back to what we were doing. Yeah, we, we definitely got to go and uh, take care of a couple things right now. <clears throat> I must be the tower Jomar mentioned. And it's full of sun wings. That can't be good. There, on the beach. A Clint scout. I need to get closer. See if he's carrying a relic like Jomar mentioned. More dead scouts. I should check if one of them is Jomar's brother. But I'll need to get rid of those machines first. No relic. Can't be Jomar's brother. Thing is, Frost would do a lot of damage. These are Apex Red Eyes. 
Yeah, but they shouldn't be too difficult to kill. Ooh. Oh, you're you're you'll be an easy kill. How do you miss both? Okay, this is going to be interesting to say the least. So I think we take a great shot on this. expecting that. Uh-oh. I don't know what just happened there. But, uh... Now what? What is looking at us? Something saw me. Something saw me somewhere because it alerted like I had been seen. Missing a machine. Okay. Uh, I think we can reach him from here. to do the trick. Yep. That's all of them. I should check the scouts. It doesn't look like the scouts lasted all that long, so... Hey, what's up, Queen's Dragon? Not How you sure doing? Either of them are Oris. But maybe one of them dropped it as they fought off the machines. Sorry, guys, I got really focus. Show me focus. More. Huh. Nothing. Maybe my focus can pick up their tracks instead. There. Maybe Oris escaped the machines. Better see where it leads. Here we go.
Machine. It looks like it gave chase, but Oris fought it off. Or probably to escape those sun wings up there. Tracks end here. I must have climbed up this tower. Dead end. Maybe if I go outside, I can find another way up. Oh, that was close. Nothing to see here. Oh, another close one. Yep, that one scared me a little bit. Whew. There's no shot, dude. Did you really just fall back in here? Okay, this that's not bad. Must be yours. But there's only one way to be sure. I better check for the relic. Okay, I did find them. Thought so. Do, do, do. The relic. And my focus picked up data on it. It's not a beacon, it's a tourist map of San Francisco. If the Quen could read this, they wouldn't need to send scouts out blind. I should tell Alva. Aloy, I'm here. Alva, I found some data I think Bohai might be interested in seeing. I'm sending it to you now. I'll pass it along. Thanks. I better take this relic back with me. Give it back to Jomar. Along with the bad news. Alright, and just like that, we are out of there. <laughs> That's literally never going to get old. Now, they'll hopefully give up eventually, but we'll see. Are they going to keep following me or what? They might keep following me, bro. Oh snap, I didn't even see that last time. Dude, we can land here? Yo. There's a bird pad. Bro, that's sick. There's a bird landing pad, bro. What? Did you... I'm... Sorry. How did he die? The tower was a sunwing nest. He went in there looking for cover, but he was holding on to that when I found him. Horus. I read the data on it. It had a map that can help your people get the lay of the land without risking more scouts. All of us sharing it with Bohai right now. It's a good thing your brother protected it. Come on. I trade all the data in the legacy to have my yes. brother back. 
Yes, facts. But I'm glad that something meaningful came from his death. As promised, you now have access to my weapon stock. If you bring me the right resources, I can make you anything you see there. Actually, why don't you give this a try? One of our best. And if it's of use, you know where to find more. Thank you. I'm really sorry for your loss. I know you are. And I'm grateful. <laughs> now, okay, skill points, yes. It'll be interesting to see if we got, like, gear or something. I wonder. I can provide you with powerful weapons, if you so wish, Ancestor. All right, uh, let's see, let's see what's doing, guys, real quick. All right, so on the quest marker, we know this is the final mission, right? So we got main quest, we got the last one. I want to get to this as soon as possible. However, we do have, like this, fly to the shipwreck, we can do this. Uh, even if I had picked it up before, we wouldn't have been able to do it until we just now got the flying mount. Uh, and then call Alva, which is probably what we're going to start with next time. Uh, and then we just have a few more other things to take care of, but then we're into the final mission and we're fighting the Zeniths. So, that being said, guys, stay tuned. We are going to host JC to thank him for supporting and helping us grow, all right? So let's get this going, all right, guys? Stay tuned. We are going to host JC, all right? Have a great evening, guys. Bye-bye.